Hey guys, how are you? So in this video, I'm going to answer a question that was put to me. So here's the email. For the past few months, I've been following your advice, build a few projects after tackling the basics in JS. JS is JavaScript, of course. And guess what? It worked. I finished more than three projects. Two of them were quite big for a beginner. More than 2K lines of code. Good job. And they all worked just fine. Now I want to move on to a framework. Nothing like the real thing, right? Uh, I learned this in uh, martial arts a long time ago. You want to learn how to fight? You fight. Too much time is spent by too many people doing too many tutorials. Sure, I could put out all kinds of tutorials and sell you tutorials, but you don't need so many tutorials. You need to know your basics, then you jump in the game, and then you learn all these different frameworks when you need to learn them. So he continues, I've been, I've seen a couple of your videos on what framework one should learn and did a local market search. Let the market always tell you what to do on what companies look for in terms of a JS frameworks. And, there's, and the results is even for React and Vue. Hmm. So the big three frameworks are Angular, React, Vue. Angular and React have been a long time. Vue is kind of a new kid on the block. I have a preference for Vue. The guy put together Vue, he had worked on the previous frameworks and he kind of put together what he thought was the best of uh, everything he could come up with. Anyway, uh, what do you think? Should I start with Vue or React? And also, thanks for the awesome advice you gave me. Um, I'm glad it could help. So, um, it's interesting what you're seeing in your area, Vue is matching React. So that's very interesting because Vue is kind of a newish framework relative to React, that's for sure. And I think Vue is going to become, uh, in time, the dominant player, in my opinion, because it's easy to use, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That being said, you can't really go wrong with React. Um, and even if, let's say, you learned React and you found a year from now or six months from now or two years from now that everybody's gone on to use uh, Vue, everybody's going on using Vue at that point, for you to migrate from React to Vue, because you've done your basics, because you understand JS, vanilla, plain old JS, JavaScript, for you to move from uh, React to Vue or from Vue to React to Angular it will be not such a big deal. Not such a big deal. So it doesn't really matter. That's another myth I'm trying to dispel on YouTube. You don't have to worry too much about choosing the wrong tech because all of these modern frameworks, all of these modern languages are very similar in many respects. So if you learn a JavaScript for you to be able to pivot to Python, wouldn't be too difficult, or from Python to JavaScript, or from Python to Java, or from Java to C sharp, not a big deal, not a big deal. You know, you, even going to dirty old PHP, which isn't so dirty, I joke around about that. You know, they're very similar, all very similar. Each language, each framework, whether it be Vue, React, or Angular, or whether it be PHP, uh, C sharp, Java, Python, JavaScript, uh, TypeScript, they all have their pros and cons. They all have their pros and cons. So you have to basically choose the technology that best suits you and also best suits the local job market, right? You may think that TypeScript is the bee's knees. You may say TypeScript is amazing. It's the best language ever created, but if there's no jobs, who cares? I'm not saying there's no, no, I'm not saying that there aren't any jobs in TypeScript. I'm just saying you gotta let market forces really guide you in terms of where you wanna go. So that's why I have a very particular teaching strategy and. Uh, and I preach a strategy to people based on my decades of experience of uh, being in the field. So yeah, don't worry, don't worry about choosing the wrong tech. This is, doesn't happen, it's BS, it's BS. I hope you find this video useful. A little, uh, some nerd tips for you today. Before I let you go, be sure if you're learning to code to spend at least 20 minutes a day be sure to drink a lot of water and be sure to get in some exercise. Healthy body equals healthy mind. Healthy mind and body equals you learn faster, less stress, and you're just gonna have a much a better quality of life. So if you're learning how to code and you're feeling stressed out, go to the gym, go for a walk, go for a run. Uh, make sure you're drinking a lot of water 
Uh, and if you are, uh, have a high percentage of fat on you, it's time to lose some weight. It's just better for your health and it's just better for, yeah, anyway, you know the story. Bye.